Now in this experiment we're going to investigate the relationship between the length of a piece of wire and its resistance. So this wire here is called constantin and I'm going to actually attach a piece of this wire to a meter ruler just with a bit of tape at each end and this makes it a lot easier to measure the length. So what I'm going to do in a very simple circuit is we have a power supply. I've just got um, four of these cells here so we've got a battery which is about six volts. I've got an ammeter which I can use to measure the current and I have a voltmeter to measure the voltage or potential difference and if we know this and this we can then work out the resistance at that time. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set up a very simple circuit. So I've got my ammeter in series and I've got my wire here. I've just got a crocodile clip which I'm going to put at the end and I'm going to try and make sure I have it as close to zero as possible. Okay, so that's the start of my circuit. And we can see, as we have another crocodile clip, we can attach it at different lengths along the wire. Um, so this will be connected uh, with that. And across this part of the circuit here, I'm going to put my voltmeter in parallel. So I've got this connected like that. And that means across this piece of wire, we can measure the current going through it and also the potential difference across it. So I've now got this connected at 10 centimetres and I'm going to very briefly connect up the circuit. I don't want to leave it on too long because then we might have too much of a heating effect if we have a high current. So here are the readings at 10 centimetres. Okay, and then being careful it might be hot, I'm just going to move this to 20 centimetres. So 0 0.200 of a metre. So this is now 20 centimetres. Thirty centimetres, forty centimetres, fifty centimetres, and finally we have sixty centimetres. So that's going to be my final result I'm taking. We've now got values for current and potential difference to work out the resistance and now we can plot a graph with resistance and length to actually look at the relationship between these two quantities.